Today I'm going to make sweet hand pies with homemade lemon curd. The first step in making the lemon curd is lemon zest. Got, finally got one of these fancy little rasp graters. This is the first time I've used it. I kinda like it. Seems to work a lot better than that square thing that I have. I only need a couple of teaspoons of lemon zest. All right, that should be good. Then I need to juice these lemons. I'm gonna cut them in half. And I'm hoping to get a third cup of lemon juice out of these. I don't think it's gonna be a problem to get a third cup. These are pretty juicy lemons. Now we'll move over to the stove. I have never made lemon curd before. Hopefully this does not turn out bad. I'm going to add to my pan that is not yet turned on, my lemon zest, my third cup of lemon juice, a third cup of sugar, and two eggs. I'm gonna mix that all up. Those eggs need to be room temperature, as well as the butter that I'm just about to add in. And then a fourth a cup of butter, which is a half a stick. I don't want the heat too high you need to be stirring constantly. Don't want lemon scrambled eggs. We want curd. And you do want to use a whisk. And just continually stir it. It's probably going to take a good six to maybe ten minutes or so for this to be done. When the mixture thickens enough, it will leave, your whisk will leave like its little trail. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. I only have my heat on like a medium setting. I don't really want it to cook too fast or I might mess up and make scrambled eggs. Don't want to do that. Yeah, it's starting to really thicken up now. Start whisking a little more briskly. It's just about as thick as it's gonna get. Mmm, not really seeing a trail left by my whisk. Smells very lemony. I think she's done. I'm gonna transfer this into a glass bowl and put it in the refrigerator for a little while. And hopefully it thickens up a little more for the pies, but I don't know. We'll see. While I'm waiting for that lemon curd to chill and thicken up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and roll out my dough for the pies and get it cut and ready so that once that curd is all set up, I can... Just spoon it directly into the pies and get them in the oven. Now this dough is actually, I made this, this is a homemade pastry dough. I did this when I was doing the uh, chorizo hand pies. So if you want to go back and watch that, it actually shows you step by step how to make this dough. I'm going to get this rolled out and then I'll start cutting it out. Got my dough rolled out to the thickness that I want it. You can see there's still butter in this dough, which the dough, I probably failed to mention, 
can be refrigerated up to like two or three days or it can be frozen. Now I'm just gonna take my my little biscuit cutter here and I'm just gonna start cutting rounds out of this dough. And really the thickness you do is kind of up to you. I sort of made it, this was very inconsistent on its size, but that's, you know, I think that's thick enough. Probably don't really wanna go too much thicker than that, but I want it to be sturdy enough to withstand the uh, lemon curd filling. I'm gonna cut as many discs as I can out of this dough, and then I will do my best to carefully roll it back out again with what's left and cut some more discs. Now, make sure that you cut an even amount of discs because one of these is gonna be the top and one is going to be the bottom. The lemon curd thickened up pretty nicely. And I forgot to mention, if you don't wanna leave the lemon zest in it, you could strain this out. I'm just gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna take one and I'm just gonna kind of push a little dip in that. Now, this is gonna be tricky. Now I need to smush these together without squishing out all my my uh, my lemon curd. Hopefully get it smashed together enough that it doesn't spew out in the baking process. There's one of them. I'm gonna finish filling these and then I'll come back and I think I'll put slight slits in the top. I don't I don't want all of it to ooze out of the top though, so I'm not sure. I might leave them the way they are. Ended up with a baker's dozen. I've got 13 of these bad boys. I decided I am gonna go ahead and poke some holes in the top, but I'm just gonna use a toothpick since these are so fragile feeling. I don't want to really mess them up with a fork, so I'm just gonna jab a couple of little holes in the tops of each one with this toothpick. My oven is preheated at 400. I'm going to put these in for probably 12 minutes, maybe to 15. We'll see, I'll keep an eye on them. They're pretty small. I think they're gonna cook pretty fast. Got these out of the oven. Got a couple of them. They was trying to lose their, their insides there. They sort of browned around the very edges on some. Not so great, but it's fine. I'm going to actually melt some chocolate, white chocolate, to drizzle over the top of these. And as soon as I get it melted, I'll be back to show you, I guess, the decoration. Got my chocolate all melted. I'm not as big a fan of white chocolate as I am milk or even dark chocolate really, but that's fine. I had this as leftover chocolate and need to get rid of it. And I was just thinking that maybe, you know, I don't think that's gonna, I think I'm just gonna have to kinda, huh, hmm, frost them. Maybe I should dip them in. That might be easier. I was just thinking that, you know, because of the the tartness of the lemon that it might be nice to have a little bit of sweet to go along with it. Let's just dip these. Who cares what they look like? If I cared, I would be very disappointed with a lot of the things that I make. This was extra of my dough that I couldn't get made into two circles, so I just made it into the little the little half moon pie shape. Okay, let's give these bad boys a taste. We'll take this one, it's not as pretty. Mm. 
Mmm. Those are actually really good. I was pretty proud of myself and how that lemon curd came out. I don't know if you can see that. The flaky layers of the crust. Pretty proud of that too. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Have you ever made hand pies before? If so, tell me what you use to stuff in your hand pies.